This Xcode lesson is how to create a scroll view with text inside it. Um, actually, you can put anything inside of it, but uh, we're going to concentrate on text. And we're going to add another view controller. The easiest way to drag a view controller around is on the bottom here. Okay, we have a new view controller. And uh, we always want to add a button to get back to the main menu. And again, we want to make it so that uh, there's space at the top. For the status bar, and if you don't have enough room, just scroll over, and now you can right click. Now we want to add a scroll view, and that's towards the middle of the objects. To get the scroll view to work properly in three and a half and four inch mode, you're going to have to switch this to three and a half inch mode. Okay, before we can place anything in the scroll view, we need to add a UI view inside of it. Or just a view. And there it is. And we want this to be as wide as our scroll view. So we'll add that constraint with the width. And we'll add a constraint for the height or the top space. And our view, let's go back. It's easier to select items this way. I want to change the height of this view. Let's make it 500. Okay, let's add a UI label to this view. it's going to be fairly wide. And we'll go back to the fourth tab. You can mix anything you want because you're placing it in a view. And we'll center this and we'll make it bigger. And when you center it, well, we can center it up here. There we go. <clears throat> when you center it, you'll get the blue line. Now, let's add a text view. You decide how far to the edge you want to use it. I'm going to place it down here just to illustrate the scrolling. And 
this is not large enough to show everything. And now I'm going to move it down. Okay, my, my layout is going to be mostly blank. You're going to have more relevant information. Now we need to add a subclass. So we right click, new file, and it's going to be based off a UI view controller or a view controller. Call this large text area. Watch your capitalization. It's important later on. And we will create that. And let's just move it into proper alphabetical order. It's not terribly important right now, but when you have a larger project with lots and lots of source files, you'll want this in alphabetical order. Now we need some IB outlets. You need a curly bracket, IB outlet, and you're going to need one for UI scroll view. And you're going to need an IB outlet for the UI view. And if you build it, the error goes away, which is what we want. Now let's double click on that so it opens up in a separate window. We want to go to the storyboard again, go to our view controller, and we need to go to the third tab, and we want to select our large text area subclass. We copy that with command C, we use storyboard and paste it in there, hit enter. And now we should, you can build just in case. Now click on the scroll view, right click, and add our referencing outlet. And that's good. We need to add our referencing outlet for the UI view. And that one's good. Now we can go edit some code. And we want to modify that routine. Let it auto-complete. So if you let it auto-complete, it will do all the correct capitalization for you. Otherwise, you have to be very careful and watch your capitalization. So now we need to adjust the scroll view content size. And that's just going to equal the view, its frame, and its size. We need to connect the button to the screen. I'm going to connect button 1. There we go. That's done. Okay, what we would like to do is we would like to center our scroll view in the big view. And center in container. Now we can run. And that's better. Okay, so our text view is sitting in our main, our, our scroll view, and the scroll view is centered in our main container, so that works for four inch. And as always, we need to test on both devices. And we see that our text and view are centered inside the view. That's it for this lesson.